Hello everybody out there and welcome back here with the future once again to another retro showcase and review and today we are focusing on a toy line when I was eight years old that came out in 1990 and that is none other than a uh, film uh, toy line that coincided with the 1990 film Dick Tracy that starred Warren Beatty. He also directed and produced this film. This is actually a Walmart copy for $6.96. Um, from back then and you can see Academy Award winner collectible um, we'll take a look closer look at this in a second but yes I do have the VHS I don't have the DVD um, the DVD is not easy to find obviously but a very colorful and cartoonish film so of course Playmates stuck to that um, mold as they uh, made the uh, figures very colorful and cartoonish just like the film very bright colored Dick Tracy actually one of the more boring colored figures of each is the only features his yellow hat and I'll talk about that a little bit more here in a second but I always loved this figure line I had every single one but the blank as a kid and there's a reason for that we'll talk about it here in a second as they show all the other figures on the back very colorful packaging which I loved back in the 90s and Playmates made these in the same kind of design as they did their Ninja Turtle figures because they were already popular for their Ninja Turtle figures so why break out of that mold and that design they designed these figures to fit right in with the Ninja Turtles line, just like a lot of the figure lines did back then. They fit them right in with the Ninja Turtles mold because that was what was hot and that's what was selling, so everybody kind of followed that um, same design. And that's what the Playmates did who already had the uh, Ninja Turtles line out when these were made in 1990. Um, of course, it's produced by the Walt Disney Company um, as well, the movie was, so that also is featured on the figure as well. I'm a Walt Disney fan, so you got to love that. But now let's uh, take a look at the Dick Tracy Coppers and Gangsters Mint on Card Dick Tracy figure here from that line that we're going to talk about. And uh, yeah, you got to love the 1990 film too. If you haven't saw it, it's one of the most colorful and best looking comic book movies to this day. And it was made in 1990, 28 years ago to be exact. Um, also for this line, before I forget... Um, of course, the movie was um, based on the 1930s comic of the same name, Dick Tracy. It also starred Al Pacino and Madonna as Breathless Mahoney, a.k.a. The Blank, which is one of the reasons that the figure did not come out. And um, they also made for this line a 1930s gangster's car, uh, two of them. They actually made a Big Boy's getaway car and Dick Tracy's police squad car, which I never had either of the cars as a kid, but I wish I did because they were really badass. But that's the only two other things they made in this line besides the figures themselves. Um, but they are really cool. Um, you can look them up online, check them out. I think they might have, no, I don't think they have them on the packaging. No, not on the figures itself. So you have to check that out online, but those are really cool. I also have a puzzle that was made from back then, a Breathless Mahoney that I'll show off. It's in pretty rough shape. Um, but they did do a lot of merchandise back then, including like the Dick Tracy watch. Um, everybody knows the watch. Calling Dick Tracy, calling Dick Tracy, of course. But now let's check out the figure. Um, I want to thank everybody who subscribed lately, dropped any comments, given me any likes, left any kind of feedback. I really appreciate all the support here. This is your first time viewing. Make sure you do all that I just mentioned. And now let's take a look at the 1990, 28-year-old Dick Tracy Coppers and Gangsters Dick Tracy action figure produced by Playmates that coincides with the 1990 film by the same name. And now guys, let's check it out. Okay, so here you see to the left the 1990 Men on Card Dick Tracy action figure next to the 1990 VHS copy of Dick Tracy. And already off the bat you can notice something that's kinda off. And everything that I ever saw back then, everything promotional, always showed Dick Tracy with a Tommy gun and a yellow trench coat. What does this figure not have? It doesn't have a yellow trench coat and it doesn't have a Tommy gun. Um, the guy from Retro Blasting, the main man on that channel, actually had his mom um, sew him up a yellow trench coat and he has him holding the Tommy gun and he looks a hundred times better. And wow, is he right? as in kids would have been way more attracted to that version of Dick Tracy than the one that we got here that was kind of boring, you know, um, no trench coat on, just like his suit vest there, I mean, and the tie um, with rolled up sleeves. Like you've seen him one time sitting at a desk looking like that in the movie, but they didn't forget the yellow hat. The hats were not removable either of any of the figures. That would have been kind of cool if they had a removable hat too. 
Um, but they're always shown with the hats on in the movies. As you can see, Dick Tracy with this bright yellow hat here to the left. And um, it's kind of funny that they blacked out to where you could see the yellow trench coat because I don't think they wanted to show it in the um, illustration here. And, they, of course, that's Warren Beatty to the left. Very colorful card back. I like this street light that goes up here, kind of surreal-like um, design there next to the Dick Tracy logo. Coppers and Gangsters you see there. We'll take a closer look. Um, here's a closer look at the movie, though, itself. As you can see on the back, it shows the characters from the movie. And, as I said, very colorful and cartoonish, you can see the green, the blues, the yellows that were used. There's a very good shot of him in a yellow hat. And he doesn't have the yellow suit coat on in that picture, so call me out now. Um, but you can see Al Pacino and Madonna, um, Breathless Mahoney, a.k.a. The Blank, and Big Boy Caprice. Um, and there you see uh, Flat Top, one of my favorites right there. Um, I think that's the rodent, but I might be wrong. I, I, think, I think I'm not. I think that's Shoulders. I'm wrong about the characters, I know that, uh, so don't take my word for that. But two thumbs up, the picture is extraordinary, Siskel and Ebert said. you got to take his word for it. Um, but you can see their Touchstone, Disney's Touchstone Pictures division um, released this. Um, some people loved this, some people didn't. As a kid, I loved it, and I loved having all my Dick Tracy figures out. I had every one but the blank, I think I mentioned already before. My dad got them for me for my birthday one year from Toys R Us, which is really sad they're going out of business because uh, I remember times like that from my childhood where I got the whole swoop of Dick Tracy figures that I could get at one time. Um, but yeah, I used to love setting those figures up, watching this movie. I had the same VHS as a kid, and uh, you know reliving scenes from the movie with the characters because they had about every character and then also um you know making up my own dick tracy stories um i had the comic books as well they actually made three comic books that led in the movie that actually help you understand the movie more that gives you more background on some of the gangsters and the characters and i remember having those comic books as well as a kid right behind here is a breathless mahoney puzzle from 1990 that was released as well to coincide with the movie. Very bad shape. Some idiot actually put tape on this thing. I got it at a flea market. Um, I don't know who the heck would do that, but it's very discolored too, like it's been sitting in the sun. Um, it would have been very bright yellow and red back in the day, but nonetheless, very cool, you know, vintage collectible. Nonetheless, that I kind of saved. This was going to get thrown out. If somebody didn't pick it up, you see it's got some scribbles on there and stuff. But jumbo size, 500 piece puzzle, ages 8 to adult. Um, I love the Dick Tracy logo on it. And the picture of Breathless Mahoney and Big Boy Caprice there. I haven't ever seen if all the pieces are in there, but man, it feels like it. It's pretty heavy. So yeah, guys, um, that's the Breathless Mahoney puzzle. And uh, the Dick Tracy film set up next to it. On the right side up. But yeah, um, it would have been a lot better if this Dick Tracy figure would have came with a yellow trench coat and a Tommy gun. And of course, he's got his pistol here and a billy club instead, which he rarely ever used in the movie. Of course, he's got his gun strap there too. A lot of the figures came with the gun strap if they had a pistol, but most of the villains came with a Tommy gun. Um, it was only Sam Ketchum and Dick Tracy really that didn't, and they used him in the movies. So that um, dude off Retro Blasting, I always forget his first name, but... He also has a Sam Ketchum with an orange trench coat as well. But you see Dick Tracy also has the Dick Tracy watch there. You can't forget that. Um, got some cuffs there. Got his badge on. Uh, suit vest. Got his tie there. Looking pretty funny in the face there. A lot of people think that face sculpt is kind of funny. But as a kid, I, I just kind of got that they made him cartoonish because the movie was so cartoonish. I just kind of got that. Um, I thought it went well with the figures, and I always loved it. Because I am a fan, you know, still to this day, of these more cartoonish-looking figures from the 90s. Um, you know, you get uh, five points of articulation at the head, the arms, and the legs there. Um, but very cool to see a 28-year-old figure still mint on card. You know, very sweet. But the packaging here, you see, Calling Dick Tracy, the Chief Needs You at HQ in the QT. Dick Tracy there. So everyone had a little saying down there. And you see Playmates, the Walt Disney Company. And there's the illustration of Warren Beatty and the logo and everything. Like I said, I love this packaging. But this is just a classic figure, in my opinion, of one of the best toy lines as a kid that I just, I enjoyed this toy line.
a lot, so I had to pick this thing up. So for these retro showcases and reviews that I'm doing, I did the 1991 Robin Hood, um, the last video if you haven't checked it out. I'm trying to pick a lot of this stuff up from my past and do retro showcase and reviews on them. Um, I'm still going to do the New Year style, you know, showcase and reviews too, but do these as well. But here on the back, you see the really cool um, Crime Stoppers textbook there. Little comic illustrations there right on the back telling you a little story there. You see Dick Tracy's office. It says Gangland 30 style, an underworld of deadly crime bosses and their vicious thugs, their turf, their game, their rules. They didn't count on his law. And you see wanted... FBI there on his desk papers and pretty cool illustrations on the back. You just don't get that out of toy lines anymore. And you see, collect all the coppers and gangsters. And what's funny is there was only two coppers. You had Dick Tracy and Sam Ketchum. And of course you had Big Boy Caprice, The Brow, Steve the Tramp, who was only in like five minutes in the movie. Um, the Blank there, Lips Manless, Itchy, Mumbles, Influence, Shoulders, Prune Face, Rodent, and Flat Top, who was my favorite. I love Flat Top. I love the figure of that too. You can see most of them did come with a Tommy gun. So I don't know why they did not give Tommy guns to the main two characters or trench coats. Or at least try to put them in a suit, kind of like they did there. Um, but there's the blank who initially was going to be part of the initial launch, but they held the figure back until um, the line was almost, you know, over with and done with in stores. So a lot of people didn't even get the blank figure in stores in time to collect it because you could remove the mask off the front of there, which was just a blank face, and it revealed Madonna underneath, and that ruined one of the main story arcs. And uh, they didn't want to do that. Um, they didn't want to ruin the ending of the movie and the whole story arc of the blank. So I can see why they held it back, but sadly, a lot of us did not get a hold of that figure. And I never have to this day ever held one in my hand. But you see their police profiles and courage, named Dick Tracy, ranked chief detective. And you can probably pause it there and read all this. You have his duties, weapons, special skills, awards, background, and his quote, Sorry, pal, it's the law. And a little write-up on Dick Tracy there as well. Let's try to get a still shot on there. So you guys can try to pause that and read it if you want to. That's a lot to go into. But man, you gotta love it. Playmates down to the left. Fingerprint, save one point, proof of purchase. Ages four and up. You can see they're made in China and packaged, printed in Hong Kong. Like they did a hell of a job. But yeah, Dick Tracy up to the left. And that little comic here, which you guys can I don't know if it's going to focus good enough to let you guys read those or not, but you can kind of see that. But yeah, the only complaint about this figure is not having the trench coat and the Tommy gun, but you could always get one of the Tommy guns from another figure um, after you killed him off or whatever you did in your story. And uh, he'd be complete with his Tommy gun then, but uh, you'd have to have your mom make you a coat or something, I guess, back then if you wanted it. But uh, the trench coat was much needed for this figure, I think, and it would have sold a lot better back then. And been a bigger line if they would have done that, at least for people who love Dick Tracy. And yeah, I still love Dick Tracy to this day. A lot of people have mixed opinions on it. But uh, if you have not saw the movie, definitely go back and check it out. And this is a really fun figure line to get into and collect, in my opinion. If you have never owned these figures, they're really fun. And I'm trying to get more of them um, as we speak. And yeah, um, I want to thank everybody who tuned into this and uh, checked out this video on the 1990 Dick Tracy Coppers and Gangsters Dick Tracy figure by Playmates from 1990. And uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button, drop a comment down below, and give me a like if you like what you see. And until next time, guys, thanks for checking out this retro showcase and review. And until next time, as always, calling Dick Tracy and peace out.